hello everyone uh, this is Abhishek uh, through this video I'm just going to explain how you can just set up the JUnit framework uh, with your Eclipse 2 now uh, the latest version of Eclipse I mean the uh, Luna uh, onwards I mean every Eclipse tools are coming with the JUnit jar so you have to just set up your Eclipse tool for the JUnit framework so now let me just give you a brief idea about what exactly the JUnit framework is. JUnit framework is to test your Java application uh, at the unit testing scope level. When we say unit testing it means you have to test the each and every component and each and every logic at the code level. Right, so your J unit framework is the one through which you can just do that for the Java classes. So here, uh, I'm not, you know, uh, explaining the how you can just test your Java application at the class level, but what I am explaining you just now through this video is how you can set up the J unit framework. So uh, this is my class which I wanted to test, right? So this is the structure of the J unit. You have to write the J unit where you will be just putting the testing condition based on your testing test case. Then you have the test runner through which you will be running this J test J unit which will eventually execute this right and it will just check whether that condition is matching based on the test case or not and it will give you the error through this particular will give you the result of that test case in through this particular test job so right now you can see uh, uh, since I have used some J unit framework related classes uh, and the methods here so I am not able to you know to uh, uh, not able but uh, you can see some error since I have used some J unit related classes and the methods in these two classes so these classes are not compiled successfully and I am getting some error to do so right that is just because my this particular project is not enabled for the JUnit framework so to achieve that what you have to do is just select your project for which you want to do you know to set up your JUnit framework go to project here select properties now you have to select the Java build path by default you will be prompting to source you will be landing on a source tab now you have to go to the libraries press add library you will have some other jar as well which comes with the uh, eclipse tool but since we are setting up the JUnit framework so you have to select the JUnit framework press next from here you can see what all JUnit library versions are available for you to include uh, for my version, I am just including JUnit 4 because this is the uh, version which is compatible with the Eclipse Luna. <laughs> Press finish. From here now, earlier there was a JRE system library but now you can see the JUnit 4 as well from uh, in the library section. Press OK. Right. Earlier the JUnit 4 uh, jar was not here but now you can see it has been added to your Java project. Right. Now go back to the test j unit see it's still uh, after i mean including the jar file is still those issue those error has not been removed so removing that what you have to do is you have to just import the classes or the package which under which these jobs and methods uh, not job these classes and the methods present so what you have to do is i had to just save the time what i have done is i have already put it you know, so what is J unit? Just going to import this library which is required. I'm just saving it. Similarly for this test run a job class. Since there was some uh, job related issue in my uh, client environment so again and again I am just uh, using that job word no worries right so I have imported the required packages over here and I'm just pressing save now you can see that the uh, error message has been removed since I have you know 
it means it shows that you have successfully I mean uh, set up the J unit framework uh, within your project so if you want you can just try with running these to check whether it's working fine yeah it's working fine as per the requirement but since uh, how does it work the J unit framework it's not the uh, scope of this video uh, in day or two I'll be uploading the you know the all the basic steps along with the introduction about the J unit framework uh, in a day or two so uh, till then uh, this is how you can just set up your J unit framework if you have any further question or you have any doubt to just understand how you can just set up the J unit for your Eclipse just put your comment in the comment section or you can just drop me an email on my this email ID and just note it down it is worth my android 2015 at gmail.com right so that's it from my side for this video thank you for watching me uh, just wait for my another video if you are interested in understand how JUnit framework works thank you everyone